is as you know there is gun culture in the us and as a student you need to be safe they have heard gunshots and stuff so it's better to sit, uh, stay near to the campus you can message me on instagram for any help i would definitely like to help you guys because uh, this has been something that i have went through personally and i don't want my subscribers to go through it hi guys what's up welcome back to the channel so lately i've been receiving a lot of doubts about uh, accommodation finding accommodation near asu kyunki uh spring semester is very near now it's almost december and i've been getting doubts like uh, how to find apartments what is the rent uh, how should we apply how what what are the points that we should be um knowing before booking any apartment so i feel that it is important for me to tell you guys that how to handle these things because i went through a lot and i don't want you guys to go through it so although i try to message each one of you but it is very difficult for me personally to address each doubt of yours personally to everyone so i thought that i should make a video on this and uh, uh, so i have noted down few points that i wanted to share with you and without wasting any further time let's get straight to the topic so firstly that how can you find these apartments like uh, in tempe basically so we i personally use apartments.com and willow.com uh, i'm going to add their website link in the description be sure to check them out uh, you can find apartments from both of the these places you can make an excel sheet you can add various um things on which you can i would say you can add various parameters on which you can decide that okay i should go with this apartment i i, I can go with this and that can vary from person to person like few people would like to have um an apartment which is near to the campus few people would like to cons consider the cost so it depends on what uh, decisions uh, that you and your roommates mutually make so i would suggest you guys making an excel sheet after comparing um from these websites and uh, according to my experience there are few points that uh, i want to share that these are the points to remember before booking a, a apartment first one is that it should not be too far because as you know there is gun culture in the us and as a student you need to be safe not specifically as a student as a, anyone living anywhere you need to be safe right safety should be your number number one priority so make sure that it is not too far from, far from the campus because my few of my friends live uh, i guess in some communities i'd not like to like to name them but uh, that is not very safe and i've heard that um gunshots uh, they've heard gunshots and stuff so it's better to sit, uh, stay near to the campus because that way you can go to your classes very easily you will be safe so there are many things linked to it second is the marketplace should be nearby because you here i am assuming that you'll not be having a vehicle so to get your groceries to get your basic stuff utilities you'll need to go to the marketplace or even if you want to if you want to add, i mean do order it and you want delivery at your home then that's fine but it's better to be near to some of the communities and shops so that you can access them very easily if needed second uh, third one is that the community should have boundaries because um homeless issue is quite common over here and i've heard that uh, people the homeless people generally get into houses and stuff so it's better to be safe that way also and uh, arizona has some serious roaches and insects problem so uh, before you decide on uh, an apartment that you have to live I i'm assuming you'll be living there for at least an year a six month period or so so be sure to contact people living over there and ask about roaches about uh, your insects uh, how 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 are they i mean can it be controlled or uh, on the basis of that you should make your decision that's what i mean to say before you book any apartment i would highly suggest you guys to contact any senior or any of your friend living over there because the actual unit may vary um, from the images that you see on the website because uh, that is a i would say a stock unit i would say um, which these communities shoot and upload it on their website so actual units are different from what they show on the website although it is not very different but yes uh, there might be little changes like um, in my case uh, and few of my friends have a mirror on their wardrobe and uh, few of my friends have a little larger room so it can vary 
and uh, third uh, the next point that i've written is wi-fi installation electricity bill and your laundry varies from society so society to society so what happens is wi-fi installation is something that you'll have to do on your own in majority of these societies but few of them offer uh, these uh, the wi-fi and internet facility electricity bill is something that uh, some communities have included in their rent some like to have it uh, from uh, you apart from your rent like if suppose their rent is 400 and you guys consume an uh, uh, electricity of around 70 dollars so they'll ask you for 70 apart from that so this is how things function over here La laundry is something that uh, um, everybody does uh, you you cannot wash your clothes because life gets too hectic over here so you you you'll use laundry eventually some communities have laundry in house and some have it uh, common in common areas so you 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 should consider that point as well and the last point that i've written is that the lease date should start uh, prior to your arrival date because unless and until you have a friend or you have a temporary accommodation over here then that's not an issue otherwise you need to have uh, have your lease date start before you actually land in the US because otherwise you'll have to either rent out uh, some property or uh, you'll have to uh, go to hotel and that is quite expensive I would say so yeah make sure that your lease date is before you actually land so talking about the general rent that students have here, uh, it's uh, around, uh, firstly I'd like to tell how people live. So for 2B2B, 2B2B two 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 is something like two bathrooms and two bedrooms. Uh, and there's a hall and there's a kitchen and there's a balcony. Balcony depends from community to community again. So for 2B2B two two generally four people live and it can be around 500. It can vary from around 400 450 to around 5 550 i guess so that's the general rent uh, for a 2b2b unit and i pay personally 470 and my uh, electricity bill and everything is included in that so it is uh, what i wanted to share with you guys i hope you found found this useful and uh, make sure that you decide very properly before moving in if needed you please uh, i would request you to either contact some senior or you can message me on instagram for any help I would definitely like to help you guys because uh, this has been something that I have went through personally and I don't want my subscribers to go through it. So I will def I'll definitely try to help you in whatever way I can. And uh, I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.